we're down here at the shop. By we, I mean me. Hunter was here, she had to leave, but uh, just getting some stuff put on the SB Mercantile website. That's the name of our new business. SB stands for small business, and uh, our goal is to be small business oriented and try to carry as much small business stock as we can. So anyway, we're working on that, trying to get some items put on the website, taking pictures of everything, getting SKUs and barcodes printed for everything that we have currently, which is mostly all my stuff that I've collected over the years and um, for resale purposes and stuff. I got a bunch of ropes and halters and split reins and cinches and bits and spurs and all sorts of little stuff that I have acquired. Um, so getting all that set up. But I had a question for you guys. Why do you subscribe to this channel? What kind of content do you expect to see? Um, what video caught your eye and made you decide to subscribe? Stuff like that. Because I'm pretty new to this whole YouTube thing and I'm trying to figure out what the viewers want to see and uh, all that. But uh, I know one of the best videos that kind of took off was the barn building video. Um, I got a lot of views and a lot of follows from that. And some of you guys that have subscribed just from watching that video, you probably think that I'm a contractor and that's what I do for a living. And the truth is the barn building thing is kind of a side hustle, I would say. Um, it's not necessarily the main source of income for me that's kind of a supplement. That's not what you're going to see day to day on this page. And so if that's why you subscribed, I apologize that there isn't more of that. But uh, I hope that you understand that Hunter and I are trying to get something going here. And sometimes that takes branching out and doing a lot of different things in the meantime until this takes off. And so the content that you see from day to day from us is kind of random and sporadic, but that's kind of our life right now. That's just how it is. So uh, if you are like, man, I can't follow what these guys do, join the club. <laughs> I can't either half the time. I don't know what I'm doing until the day of or the day before. Um, life is just super chaotic right now. So anyway... With that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching, but leave a comment below letting me know why you subscribed, what video caught your eye, and uh, I'm trying to figure out that side of things too, because I want you guys to enjoy the content that I'm putting out, um, and trying to base that channel around my viewers. Let me know that, um, and we will continue with the day, and I'll show you some progress along the way, and hopefully... You enjoy it? Okay, today, right now, I am pulling a typical Wyatt and I'm getting distracted, but I wanna build a kennel concho for a friend of mine. He's a good saddle builder and he's building a saddle for a mutual friend. And I'm gonna match the tooling on the leather um, for a kennel concho out of copper. Uh, just like you saw the other day, the one that I built. This one's going to be a little bit different, a little bit different style. And Hunter's not here to help me draw it out. She had other business to take care of or whatever. So I'm going to have to do this on all myself. Um, but I'm excited about it. We'll see how it turns out. This is a nail-on style, and so with my border, I'm planning on doing a wider border so that I have spots for my nails without getting into my border. So, that is apparently not my center mark. I'll go there with that border. That'll give me enough room for my little tacks that I use or send with the concho to nail onto the back of the candle or onto the saddle horn. 
Well, I feel like I matched it pretty good. Um, I guess we'll just start engraving and see how it looks. how it sits on the picture or something like that. So we'll compare the two and make sure that it's right and then I'll start working on the lines and whatever else. So he also told me that it's gonna have a the saddle's gonna have a cross pat pattern on it. Kind of a hash mark pattern so I'm gonna do that next. Draw out all my lines and try to figure out how I like it. Here's the finished piece, all dark, darkened and um, polished. Here's the picture of the saddle pommel that I'm trying to match. I am fairly happy with how that turned out. It turned out pretty cool. Hopefully the customer likes it. If not, I might just keep it. There it is. All finished, polished, holes punched, ready to go on a saddle. Okay, it's quitting time. We're gonna close up shop and head home. It's old Trip and I down here. <laughs> anyway, um, we got that concho built today. I got a bunch of stuff on the website and stuff like that. Stay tuned for. Um, the website launch, we're going to launch that as soon as we get some products on. And we're going to start taking vendors. And so if you're a small business in the Western industry wanting an outlet, check us out. Request a cover letter from us that is all our terms and conditions and fees and all that. There should be instructions on that letter. Um, and you can carry as many items as you want. It's a pretty darn fair trade, I think. For what you pay versus what you get so check that out let us know if you are interested in that um, we are planning on launching our grand opening for the storefront march 1st is kind of the time frame we're shooting for but the website will be live sooner we don't want to just be like oh yeah let us carry your product and then have it sit here until the first of march so we want that outlet right away for people to be able to sell online through us and so we're offering that here as soon as we can get the website up and running. And then everything else is kind of just up to, I guess, me, ultimately, see how much I can get done in the meantime. But as you can see, the store is still pretty empty. And uh, we have a long ways to go. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. I'm not sure what the plan is. I'm sure we'll be down here doing the same thing that we were doing today. Hopefully I'll have a coworker tomorrow that I can 
pick on and tease all day long. That's always a lot more fun than being down here by myself. But anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Signing off for the night.